Hello friends and welcome to our channel. Our today's video is about she was unsure of her husband's infidelity, but a closer look at his shirt made it all clear. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell and smash that like button. We really appreciate your continuous support. Marriage is an institution, a union of two souls. It's the soul relationship that has its roots deep grounded in the basis of trust. For any relationship to work well, the prerequisites are loyalty and honesty among the two partners, and when it comes to marriage, these two factors are the prime foundation of this union. Not everyone is that fortunate to get a faithful and loving life partner. Those who find one, their future and life is bliss, but those who don't, they have a life of compromised terms. When Jonah Miller thought that her marriage was the perfect one, a reality struck her. Her husband would come home late from work, though initially she wasn't bothered about it, but when it became a routine for him, she started having her own set of doubts regarding his loyalty towards her. And then one day when she couldn't bear it, she takes a closer look at his clothes, and the revelations changed the entire dynamics of her relationship. Jonah Miller and her husband David were a perfect couple from Leesburg, Indiana. Well, that was what everyone assumed for quite a long time. Their days were full of love and laughter. Every morning started with a hug and every night was marked with a beautiful kiss. Everything appeared to go smoothly until the days her husband started coming home at late hours. Jonah was so much in love with David that whenever he was off to work and she went for getting the clothes from the laundry, she'd often stare at David's shirt, smell it and hold it tight. Even his fragrance was capable of enlightening her mood. His odor was all that was needed to make her recall all of their happy life. But one day while looking at David's shirt, all her illusions broke. As always that morning as well, Jonah went to the laundry. She had a lot of clothes that day. Each and every piece of clothing was washed and perfectly ironed. She felt satisfied as a major chore of the day was done. But just when she suspected something odd on David's clothes, something that answered all of her questions, she somewhere had been ignoring and keeping in the back of her mind. What was that matter? Though David and Jonah had not been married for long, as they've been dating since long, they knew each other quite well. In the initial days of their marriage, David was always present on Jonah's side. But as days passed, things did not take place in the same manner. His behavior became a little awkward and was uneasily strange to his wife. Not once, nor twice, it became a routine for David to come home late. Jonah would be awake waiting for her husband to return from work. All day, she earnestly waited for him to come home so they could have some good time together. But she started getting worried as David would come late. For some unknown reason, her trust was shaken. Her insecurities gathered all her mind. And she had every reason to be. Is he not happy with us? Has he lost interest in me? Am I a dominating wife? Or has he found someone better? Day after day, Jonah would stress over all these thoughts. Life took a deviation from usual, and this turn was bothering her. Her ever happy married life was not the same anymore. And that day when she saw David's clothes, her life changed forever. It was in the year 2012 that David and Jonah first met. And it won't be wrong to call it love at first sight. Jonah still remembered how David was flattered over her smile and her blonde hair. She recalls, He said your smile is the best ornament you could wear. For nearly a year they dated. Going on coffee dates to going to dinner parties together, they became a part of each other's lives. In the year 2013, David was sure that Jonah's the woman he'd been looking for all his life. She completed him in every sense. He proposed to her over a Thanksgiving dinner, and the duo got engaged that day. Things appeared to be like a fairy tale, as every turn in life was a beautiful one. And this wasn't all. They had more to them. Jonah was expecting her first child. She was nearly six months pregnant with a baby girl. The couple was overwhelmed by this news. They together gave birth to cute little Delaney Miller in the year 2014. After the arrival of the baby in their lives, they grew into responsible adults and finally decided to tie the knot, a knot which was expected to be a strong one. But it was finally in the year 2015 that these newly turned parents tied the knot in the presence of their little chubby daughter. However, the couple thought that life after would be as easy and smooth as it had been in three years for them. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Nothing in this world comes easy, nor did their marital phase. Though Jonah and David got married, they still gave their partners their space. Both of them somewhere had maintained their individuality. Jonah was a popular blogger who was running the page 
real blunt blonde. To keep her readers interested, she'd often share her childhood stories and experiences over this page. But even her readers were shocked when she made the biggest revelation about her husband David's infidelity over the web. David was brought up in an Amish community. This meant he was a complete opposite to what Jonah was. Their backgrounds were a striking contrast. The Amish have never been that easy when it comes to adopting modern technology, and Jonah was a blogger, the profession that rules the modern era. Was this union tied up in a hurry, or was it their different ambitions and goals which made them witness a day where they would be compelled to question their love, compatibility, and faith in each other? One doesn't know that whether it's the assurance that Jonah gave it or her readers or to herself when she posted on her blog, you can take the man out of the Amish, but David being an Amish man is adjusting quite well to his changed lifestyle and his everyday worldly wife. But soon only things took a turn and Jonah realized things were no longer the same and a closer look at David's clothes made it all clear. David was working at an RV dealership and his working hours were tiring. He often came home late, but it was never a routine. There were days when he had to work more, but at the same time there were days when he came home on time. When David started getting late on a daily basis, Jonah took to her blog and said that she felt very alone and isolated when her hubby was away. And The next time he got late, there was turmoil. In 2015 itself, Jonah had a terrible day. And a calmer burning soul, she again resorted to her blog. All she spoke about was how she'd been feeling about the days going without sharing those special moments with her partner. She knew that her husband was a hard-working one, but at the same time, she wanted him to devote some time to her as well. She clearly was angry that day, and it was only the beginning. Jonah even admitted that she was a nagging wife. She craved her husband's attention. She even realized that it's unduly necessary for David to work hard if they want to have a safe and secure future. But she also knew that sacrificing your present was something not right. Little did Jonah know that things were the complete opposite of what she'd been anticipating all along. Her husband was way too different than presumed. It was Wednesday, and David had promised it to Jonah that he would return by 5 that evening, but it didn't happen that way. David was late that evening as well. Jonah was so annoyed that she picked up all the food from the dining table and placed it in the fridge. Wait, that was not all. She slammed the fridge's door with a bang out of anger. Surely David would have a tough night that day. Jonah lost it that day. She felt heartbroken and betrayed. She couldn't trust David. His coming home late daily had given rise to an unwanted suspicion in her mind. Jonah somewhere had all these inappropriate thoughts surfacing her. She didn't wish to think that way, but she somewhere had it that he'd been cheating on her. And her encounter with David's clothes answered all her doubts. What she found was truly unbelievable. Jonah's silence was broken by the washing machine's dryer sound. The last lot of clothes were cleaned. Well, she started folding the clothes, the only thought she had was, why doesn't he want to spend time with me? And then she noticed hers and David's clothes. The truth came shattering to her. Jonah made two different piles of clothes, one for her and one for David. The moment she saw both the piles, she wondered, why didn't she give the clothes this closer look before? Her clothes and David's clothes were very different. Obviously, one was feminine and the other was masculine, but they looked different in terms of appearance and finishing. Then she understood what's been making David late every night. Jonah immediately took to her blog and posted the picture of hers and David's clothes, with a caption reading, Why did my clothes look so vibrant, clean, and new? His were dingy, stained, and torn. It made Jonah realize that she'd been so wrong all this time. David indeed had been working hard to fulfill all her demands. The way she'd been looking at her marriage all this while was far from reality. Jonah then wrote that she feels very guilty, as the love of her life has spoiled and pampered her with all the luxuries in life. Whenever she demanded anything, David, in an instant, obliged to his dear wife's request. Jonah was really guilty to realize that she'd been taking David so wrong over all this period, and another realization made her even more uncomfortable. The next bitter truth made Jonah cry hard. She noticed that David had been living with the same old clothes, and since they were quite old, continuous usage and washing made them fade. Well, Jonah had all the newly bought expensive clothes. This broke her to the core. Jonah felt really bad that she'd been thinking of David to be out all night and partying with his friends. Well, it was she herself who'd been having a great, fun-filled life, partying with friends and all. David, the poor guy, had not even bought himself a new pair of clothes, and surprisingly, he never expressed a need to. 
She then recalls how happy he steps in the house and runs towards Danielle, their daughter. He'd always loved his kiddo wholeheartedly. Even when he came home late, he would once peep inside the room and see their daughter sleeping calmly. All these thoughts made Jonah even emotional. After these sudden realizations, Jonah knew what she had to do next. Instead of questioning her husband, she started waiting patiently for David to return home. She didn't get angry, but instead reminded herself of the sacrifices that David had been making just to give her and their daughter a better life. Jonah even asks the following of her blog to start appreciating the hard work their respective husbands put in. Instead of spying and questioning them, valuing their efforts would only make their life beautiful and meaningful. She even spoke of the value of trust in a relationship. Jonah agrees that she today as well misses David and craves for his attention and his time, but at the same time accepts that David's been giving the best love he could give her by doing everything he could to fulfill the needs of the family. Jonah told her readers that all the observations and the strange behavior of David she'd been witnessing was because of him stressing over his work and there were no signs of cheating over her. She gives a very cool advice too. If you have a hard-working man in your life and you can't comprehend how much he loves you, do his laundry. To Jonah, every blog her readers had to say. They all could feel what Jonah had to go through and even shared their side of sympathy with her. Her readers were too happy to know that she had a stable relationship and things were smooth. But there was one reader who shared her experience as well. This was a very common thing a lot of women had to face on a daily basis. They had to stay home alone with their kids and had to wait for their partners. One of the readers said, This is an amazing reminder. I used to stay home with our daughters when they were little, and I used to feel horrible doing the same thing. This is an awesome perspective to carry. Jonah's story was a hit on her blog. Since then, she'd been constantly updating her blogging page, Real Blunt Blonde. The name of her blog, to a great extent, describes the personality that Jonah had. She was bold enough to share her story over her page. On her blog, she shared all kinds of stuff. Well, some were a serious affair, others were funny and witty. Her popularity was touching the skies, and people were appraising her work. She even shared her experiences when it came to her hubby's Amish culture. One of the most popular blogs that garnished much attention was I'm not Amish, but my husband is. This blog clearly spoke of her family life and her indulgence into the Amish background. However, it also spoke of her interaction with her in-laws. One other thing that interested her audience was her blogs on motherhood. Her experience with her daughter undoubtedly made her a trained mother. She had a lot to say about the life of a woman once she turns into a mother. May her blogs continue to entertain everyone. Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you'll never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.